my dear audience today i am presenting before you a topic entitled science of law and i need your cooperation for immediate solution also i tell you it is my personal feelings so let me start the topic entitled science of law as you know we consider our judges as another names of god and goddess because they are embodiment of justice so i want to tell you what i felt as you saw when any trial begins before beginning the plaintiff or the defendant they were asked to utter in the nom- name of holy gita <coughs> that whatever they will say in the court that is their true person they will, they will never tell lie in the name of holy gita but i am shocked is it proper will the plaintiffs or defendants or witness they always speak the truth i think it is not always true that's why i am telling you that if it is not always true they follow sometimes eh, the last statements or the statement which are false sometimes eh? so why the touch the holy gita i think the gita the holy holistic quality of the gita may be hampered because gita is our hindu oh, sacred book we love gita so we can defy gita also since india is a secular nation so why there is only gita why not there is bible quran and granth sahib why not they keep all these books because india is a secular nation so my appeal to all judges all judges of the all courts high courts and supreme court that also i appeal to the law minister of the central that there should not be our holy book on the corridor here the witness stands or plaintiff plaintiff or defendant stand and say that uh, with the with the, in the name of holy book gita i will never speak lie so do a simple thing please uh, do not keep their holy book gita second point i tell you we never any jokes please don't take in another way he never a, any judgment or verdict comes out and the judge takes much time and also the verdict comes or judgment comes in pages i found in any one case in case of one case the judges our honorable judges use so many pages of papers even in one case they begin 300 pages of verdicts or sometimes 1000 sometimes 3000 i don't understand why so many papers they use for a single case is it not possible to make it short or to make it summary or substract or abstract as a phd scholar write a thesis and comprises of 500 pages but whenever they give a abstract it is one page so my appeal so that all judges either high court or supreme court i appeal 
that please limit your pages of verdict to 10 pages only maximum 10 pages you can it is possible i tell you it is possible if you use so many papers what will happen the use of papers will be more the time will be time will be taken by you more and also lingering of result of the verdict or judgment at that time the accused if it is if he or she is innocent he might have suffered the imprisonment of two or three years because it takes two or three years even seven years to to get a final verdict and also uh, the use of more papers so the papers papers the presence of papers or the storage of papers in the bookshop will be less because the more of the papers are used only one case suppose that in in one year suppose consider the one year so if all so much of papers are used i see if you keep one after another i'm sure in one year in india all the cases the the judges use the papers must be the height of a more than a mountain himalayas and second point that the poor students outstanding students better students when because of lack of funds of their parents they cannot purchase papers because of high cost in the bookshop so their merits are being faded out if the judges our honorable judges will keep their verdict within 10 pages so what happens the, the so many pages of the papers will be sphered so that the numbers of papers the reams of papers will be present in the bookshop so the cost will be more the papers assembled in the bookshop the less will be cost it is the economics that's why i appeal to the chief justice of the supreme court all the justices of the high courts also the law minister that please keep your verdict within 10 pages i think it is my personal opinion next the customs whatever happens when a, our honorable judge always follows what i see always follows strict for they, they follow strictly the rule and regulation which is written in that law book very good it is welcome it is welcome very good huh? they follow the dhara that means you can say customs of the lines 103 123 127 to, to 23 like this they 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 relates their declaration of verdict huh? as per the rules as per the rules and regulation written in the law books they follow the all judges follow because they always follow the rules they never deviate their rules that is good but i am surprising i tell you i am surprising if they follow only the strict rules only the strict rules if they follow then what huh? then if a lawyer court gives a bail to a accused person maybe non accused or accused persons then in higher courts dismisses bail how if a lawyer court gives punishment to a accused person the higher court uh, make make him or her free how if they follow all the judges follow strictly the rules the lines that i tell you then why the judges differ i don't understand why the judges differ because every judge is strictly following they are not applying i think what i think they are not applying their conscience uh, their own mind if they follow always what i see whenever a innocent person is caught what i say the example i tell you whenever an innocent person is caught by the police or by the um, and they are by the police so the innocent person cries that i have not done this blunder i have not done this mistake i have not done any harm but the police says or the lawyer says the court needs proof 
the court needs plausible proofs. How the poor person get proof? Rich culprit, rich culprit having money power, they can get proofs of hundreds and thousands. They can arrange witness of hundreds and thousands. How the poor people having no money with him, even if he is innocent, how he will collect the proofs? How he will gather the witness? Because every witness they need. They need money to give their opinions. So <coughs> it is not, I think it is not proof for. If so that it is my humble submission to Chief Justice of the Supreme Court and all the Justice of the High Court sent lower courts that I request change our constitution. Don't follow always the rules, the lines and change the constitution that 60% rules to be followed, 40% consigns your own brain. If you fail, even there is no witness in case of poor people, innocent people, I tell you innocent people, if there is no proof, there is no witness, then if you think, judges, your majesty, if you think, honorable judges, that he, this person is really con, uh, innocent, they ha, has done no fault, then give him, liber, give him liberty, or give him her or him or her liberty. You please use your conscience so that uh, I will see, because what I feel about 40 to 50 percent innocent people are being punished. 40 to 50 percent culprits are being free because of money power, because of political stand. So it is my humble request to the Prime Minister also, to the Law Minister also, to the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court also, please give liberty to our Honorable judges to apply their, give them liberty to our Honorable judges to apply their free mind free conscience, free brain, so that most of the innocent persons will be saved, their family will be saved. Do you know? For one more thing, when an innocent person is imprisoned, having no proofs behind him or her, and he passed very rich life in the jail for three years or two years or three years, he is not suffering, not only he is suffering, his whole family is suffering, more of the children are suffering, who are the backbone of the nation, who are the future hope of the nation. So delaying of judgment, delaying of judgment is also is a very difficult to view, it should not be there. Within one month, please take only maximum one month constitution should be changed that every judge has to give their verdict within a month or less than that so that innocent will not suffer because when you, the innocent person will get the liberty or uh, get the that he is really innocent, the three years or four years might have passed and he, the whole family might have smashed. So, actual culprits if want to get, please apply our consent, also uh, try to complete the case as soon as possible. And also I request the lawyers, if you, you believe in God, because as you know, what we do, if we do, we are doing injustice, if we are uh, supporting or we are fighting in favor of a real culprit, if you understand, if you feel, and in, of course, because you are a very great lawyer, powerful lawyer, eminent lawyer, you can make free to the culprit. But what will happen to you and to your family? Because if you believe in God, the, the work we are doing, the indecent work, the, the in, improper work you are doing, and that bad influence 
adverse influence must come to your children, maybe, possible. It is possible, as a scientist I know, what we do, we don't have any uh, rebirth, but what we do, if we do some dead work or faulty work, we are suffering in this life. It is sure, it is certain, it is scientific. So, always, always everyone try to follow the right path. So, try your best to give support to the innocent and go against, do against huh, the culprits. So, I think the earth should be heaven and our mission of developed nation will be a great successful. So, in the last, I tell you again, I beg, I beg for all that if I am wrong, I am sorry, but if I am right in a certain extent, please follow my advice as an educationist, as a scientist, as a poet, as a writer, as a orator. So, I thank you all, hope my effort to change this society may help to lead India into a developed world, to bring heaven to the layers of India. Thank you.